the data that, for example, I have access to in golf or in basketball, the general public does not have access to. So this guy, Riker Moreo, he won the Kaggle contest, uh, the Big Data Bowl. Are you familiar with the Big Data Bowl? I am very, yes. So he won, he was one of the uh, entrants from Simon Prejudice University. He won uh, the Big Data Bowl with his team, and he is now an intern for the Detroit Lions, who uh, lead uh, analytics member, uh, Kayo. Uh, also won the Big Data Bowl two years ago. So, what do you think about the uh, one Big Data Bowl, but two Kaggle in general, like being able to place people in like relatively high-profile jobs? What do you think about? That? Oh, I think it's amazing. I mean, I'm a huge proponent of Kaggle. I think a lot of people talk about, oh, it's like it's not necessarily really representative. And I would argue the complete opposite. Like you're working with real data on real problems with real companies. And the big data bowl is a great example of that. I do actually have an issue with the NFL. It kind of goes back to the other article that you had up. But I think a lot of sports organizations should uh, like democratize data more because it can help improve the game. Like if you think about all the, if, if all of the data for baseball is public, We'd have like, like I would assume you'd know this better than me. We'd have like pretty decent robot umpires and stuff like that. that we're, were crowdsourced. I mean, we're definitely getting there, right? Like it, yeah. but it's like it's requiring like literal bandits to come in and like feel stuff, siphon off, yeah, yeah, data. And, and that's what I really like the big data wall because they do give like a, Jump access in. to a lot of data. This uh, is from behind Ken's shoulder here. So to my gigantic out. biceps over here. Yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> Don't bring Luke back. Hunter, what do you got? I, I would say, so, like, but, baseball in terms yeah, of yeah. data, you they have data today, so more than any, any other sport. This like, would the amount of records that people have kept. Like, however long, people meticulously kept data for years and years and years. Whereas, like, I would say for football, even though there's like a ton of data that they're now collecting in like their pads and helmets, and I think like it more interesting than the big data bowl would be to look at like CTE and things like that and try and open source that data. So, but they probably don't want they, they are doing that. And there's tag competitions for that. And people in chat, shout out to Rob Mulla. Uh, oh, Rob's in chat, what's up, Rob, Yeah, Rob's in chat. Rob's in chat. Uh, they are like continuously pushing that effort for like injury prevention and helmet yeah. data and stuff but what they don't have is like stuff that's related like that's like a sports science initiative and a health prevention health initiative but then like on-field performance yeah. initiatives like that's still safeguarded so yeah i mean that's yeah. the thing to me is that the data that for example i have access to in golf or in basketball the general public does not have access to and that data is significantly more meaningful even towards the health initiatives towards any of these things and i, I think the game would be significantly more advanced if the general public had access to that too not just the people within industry and because within industry within teams you're not talking to the other teams right you're like you have that data you're building your models on it and you're not sharing it with them, right so the like democratization of that would would in effect i think like push a new age of sports which we're just but, waiting on. but would it make every team exactly the same which is an interesting thing of different teams analyze data differently if you have data like that everyone has all the data would it make it so that every team follows the same strategy because the data tells you to? Well, I mean, no, look at like all the big tech companies, right? They all have access to the same tools, but it's how they leverage those but it's tools. It's not the same data, though. I think there's there's some distinction there. Of like, like it, imagine in basketball, and it's probably in basketball, like more teams have like the, the more data they can. Like everyone just basically says, like, let's get the next step for in shoot threes. But there is some contrarian strategies, but like that's the best strategy if you, if you can like maximize it, right? It is, but then you have to think about cap space, you have to think about all these other variables, and it becomes this like weird dynamic supply and demand equation, not just optimize on specific players. So I think. It transforms the nature of the decision-making in professional sports, which I think is, is much needed.